People in the coffee world are curious because there are no markers. Nothing's been done. You're allowed to be curious and you can always experiment. You can always create something new. Coffee culture took a lot of different facets. So we had speciality coffee booming and the third wave booming and boiling up in these little volcanic eruptions in Copenhagen, in Tokyo, in Australia, New Zealand, in parts of the States. And then we have this little mini boom happening isolated in Cape Town. Every cup of coffee, you can make it just a little bit different and make it better. Or you can make it just a little bit different, it's kind of worse, it sucks. Coffee and cafe become part of people's lives. You know, for me, a lot of life's amazing times have had coffee involved with them. It was this, you know, that classic thing of, oh my goodness, I don't need to add sugar to this, which it's mind blowing that that was a revelation at the time, but that, that's kind of what it was about. Everything was dark roasted, everything was smoky and ashy, and that was what coffee was. And all of a sudden, there were caramels and citrus. You can change and you can learn and you can grow. And every day there's a way to change, learn and grow. And then one day you taste a really well-made cup of coffee and like, life's never the same again. We're all thinking we're pretty clever, but you know what? We can be even more clever. There's something else to learn. When I roast or brew a, a particular cup of coffee, I'm always transported back to the origin, to where the coffee comes from. People just had no clue, and when they touched it, they like wanted more of it. Something magic happens. It's an amazing drink. It's all of us, and we're all doing something bizarre, and we're all a bit cooked, and yet we all absolutely love what we do.